everybody. <laughs> We're the Stone heard. Angels. <laughs> uh, was it? Yeah, week three, Foo Fighters month. We're back outside. It's lovely. India, yeah, lovely the Indian summers come. Yep. It's nice though. It's warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's lovely and warm. Yeah, who's starting off this week? Uh, it's me, I believe. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I should probably get the songs up. Yeah, just so yes. we, just so we know. What Cut this out, Sam. Uh, this one <laughs> We're is. We're prepared. Uh, yeah. This one's called "The Sky Is a Neighborhood." Which is on uh, Concrete and Gold, the latest album, which I spoke about last week as well. Um, I think this is like the seventh song on the album, is it? Something like that? Something like that, yeah. Fourth. <laughs> right, it's the fourth one. Oh, so it's Dan, Dan's found a spider which he's really fond of. I think it's, more fond, I think it's more fond of me. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I chose this one because I really like this song. It's everything he likes. <laughs> about, so. uh, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Gives me pain. Uh, the back and vocals are really nice on this one as well. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of another quiet. highlight of the live show as well. Wasn't it? it was, it was, um, it was quite new actually. <laughs> That's yeah, a rough was... version right there. Yeah. <laughs> there was a new addition to their set list when we saw them. And I think it was the second single from Concrete and Gold. Yeah. I believe it was. And, yeah. uh, it, it did well for them. Yeah, it's a good song. Still getting played now, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's um, it's, it's quite old school Food Fighters, I think. I think it, it could have been it's something like one bits by and one new stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a nice blend of the old and new. Mm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a great single. But backing vocals are definitely a, a newer aspect of them. They oh, don't yeah. really had that sort of lush um, so many harmony. textures. Yeah, and texture loads, yeah. And that. There's a lot of that. And it's still also got the really hard edge that they have in some of their early material as well. And that's why I chose it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sure you chose it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We were saying this earlier. Yeah, we couldn't remember who chose yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> but I definitely chose the next song, which is called Dear Rosemary. This is the third song, I think, isn't it? On uh, um, Wasting Light. Yes, I believe. It's, uh, it's probably one of my favourite Foo Fighters tracks. I like the panning on the uh, guitars on the intro. Mm. It's very nice. It's a great song. There's a lot it of that is, on yeah. that album, isn't there? There is, yeah, there's loads. It's because it's their best well, album, Nathan. Really. It is, yeah. It's the best album. Oh, okay. Eventually. <laughs> we'll make that in a minute. <laughs> It's a very good song. It's not my favourite album. No. Um, it, it has, uh, what's it, resemblance to um, Rapporteurs and it's Teddy Yeah, it does. It's got a little bit of that. Yeah, the, the same drum beat as another song as well. Yeah. But the vocal melodies in this song are just, like, every one of them is memorable. Mm. Yeah. Which sure. is what Foo Fighters are very good at doing. Exactly. Dave Grohl knows how to write a damn good chorus. Many of them, actually. <laughs> and a good verse and a good pre chorus and a good bridge in this one. So a good song. <laughs> it is just in general, it's a yeah. good song. Yeah. That's what you want in a Foo Fighters song. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next track is uh, More Than My Choices. And I think it is probably one of the most criminally underrated singles that they've ever released. That's a fair analysis. I think it is one of my all time favourite Foo Fighters songs. This is Generator. And I'm a Generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> it's a very good song. Uh, well. no, I love cool Vocoder version. in it. Vocoder in it. Yeah, the, the riff is really good, and the way that it's um, it builds in the chorus is sort of it's a nice sort of mellow and softly sung in the verses, and then it's really nicely juxtaposes with the uh, chorus, which is a bit more. You love my big words. <laughs> See, I'm not the only thing you like either, is it? Big coffees. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're all very tired today. It's not quite going to plan. Yeah. Tired but, and ill. Yeah. It's just the way that the um, <laughs> chorus contrasts with the uh, with the verse, the way it mellows out again. Just the guitarist that holds it all together as well. Really nice. Really love this song. And yeah, as I said before, one of the most criminally underrated singles they've ever released. But they don't usually play it live. No. Or do they? No. I haven't seen them do it in a while. One of my absolute faves. Mm. Well, you got two this week, Nathan, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, my second my song <laughs> of this week. This is These Days. From Wasting Light, their best album. Yeah. <laughs> so you picked one from it now. <laughs> yeah, one, You're not helping yourself, are you? <laughs> nah, any one was the best album. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I, that time spent the judge. I digress. Yeah, These Days, it's just the chorus really good in this one great guitar work and just the way the guitar sort of punches in you get that little bit of blank space before the guitar comes in and it it gives it a lot more impact I just really like that in the song it's We've definitely got it in a yeah. couple of our own as well I think yeah. a couple it's definitely one of his uh, more kind of 
personal, emotional, lyrical content. Yeah, I, I respect that as well yeah. about it. I, I remember seeing, I think there was a fan footage going around of him actually dedicating the song to Kurt Cobain once. That like sped by early for quite a while. Because mm. obviously Dave doesn't talk about Kurt or Nirvana a lot at all. So yeah. No. Yeah, when he did that, it was quite well, a special I suppose moment. The whole thing's quite tainted by the uh, <coughs> what happened and all that. A little bit. Yeah. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah. How is it? Oh yeah, you just had your two. Yeah. No way. Is this the final song then? Yeah, this is your final song. We've been doing five or we've been doing six? Five. Okay. Yeah. We've only been doing this for like six months, boys. (laughs) Fucking hell. (laughs) I'm tired and hungover, (laughs) why? Dan's hungover, I'm ill. Nathan's Nathan. Hi. (laughs) The healthy one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's rich. (laughs) Uh, What's what's the final song? Yes, um... Probably one of Foo Fighters' most angry songs, especially the bridge. Um, Trust Sam to pick it. It's yeah. fun. I, I like the way Dave Grohl screams, but this song is breakout. Um, we did see it live. It was um, it wasn't meant to be on the set list, but they just chucked it in anyway because why not? Um, yeah, it's on the third album. I love the music video on this one. Yeah, the music yeah. video is great. Um, it was actually used in not the most popular Jim Carrey movie. Me, myself, and Irene, but it's a good film actually. It's, it's quite funny. But yeah, it's used in that. And that whole film's about, you know, being schizophrenic, so the whole breakout kind of aspect of it makes sense. Yeah, it's just a... It's a lot of fucked up shit in that film. There's a lot of fucked up shit in that film. But it's... Yeah, it's a good song. And it it, it fits the theme of the film well, and it fits the theme of the song, which is a breakout, which is especially the screaming bridge going back into the chorus. It's, um, yeah, it's a good song. I like it. I like it when the parts go heavy and a bit angry. Yeah, there'll be more of that in the uh, upcoming weeks. Upcoming yeah. week. Week, <laughs> week, yeah. yes. Week singular. Week singular, yeah. So probably a really heavy week next week. And yeah, that, I think that, that wraps it up. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. We'll be back to normal in two cool. weeks' time. Yeah, I'll find something weird or completely out of left field for us to listen to, I'm sure. Yeah, I think Dan and I go through a bit of like an old school emo nostalgia phase, so watch out for the emo bands. Bubblegum pop it is! Yeah. <laughs> anyway! Got me thinking now. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We have been the Stone Angels. <laughs> well, um, yeah, and we'll we... see you in another life. Wow, that's deep. I don't know, is it? Yeah. No gigs this weekend. As deep as a pond. <laughs> That's how deep the pond is. More like a puddle in it. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Anyway, bye. Bye.